What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today is day four of our PVZ Hero speedrun on our Smurf account, brand new account. Uh, really just using, this is going to be the uh, Agro Solar Flare deck. Uh, we're using, uh, this is the deck that uh, we are going to be climbing uh, all the way up with. Now the first three days we gained 10 ranks per day and that leaves us at day 30. So starting day four, uh, we are probably going to just be able to get to rank 35 since you actually do have to uh, gain, you know, five stars per rank and you do not get bonus stars once you hit uh, rank 30. So it's really just going to take twice as long. Uh, to think that if we need, we actually already have one star because we got a bonus star from our last match. Uh, but to get to rank 35, you basically need 50, uh, no, you need 25, 25 stars, so it would be 24. So you basically need, to, if we win 24 games in a row, there probably will be some cheese and some disconnects and stuff like that. Uh, but you can actually do games very, very, win games very, very quickly with this version of Agrosolar Flare. So we should uh, be able to gain 5 ranks today. Uh, I'm going to take a quick peek before we start at what are our quests. Uh, two, destroy five zombies. I'm actually going to mulligan this one, which is really useful. See if we can get a plant one. Okay, did not get it. Uh, but we will be able to do these two quests. We'll be able to open up some more packs. Uh, still really deciding which packs I'm going to be opening up at this point. We could go for a premium uh, regular packs just to um, get some more powerful. We need one more power flower, theoretically. It seems like the legendary and super rare that we actually need are in the Colossal. So I'm probably actually going to go after the Colossal set. Uh, opening up packs. Every pack we've opened up so far has been in the premium set. Let's just get right into it. You can see the wins and losses. Those are the total. Uh, those are only counting the games we've played in ranked mode. We've cheesed around in single player mode just to do quests and stuff like that. Um, but so far that is our record. That includes disconnects, which we've had a couple of. That includes opponents cheesily conceding. Uh, we're just trying to capture what is the experience of actually climbing with a brand new account. So I'm going to be counting everything there. And here we go. We're against Infinity. Horrible matchup. Hope hopefully does not have bungee plumbers. Uh, I'm going to look for this curve. Really looking for a one drop. This is better and that's a really good hand with the power flower. Here we go. Alright, so this is the deck that we are running. I'm going to talk about the deck a little bit at the beginning here. Uh, we're going to put this on heist just to play around um, trapper territory even though lower rank players usually don't have any environments. Alright, so what do we got? The main thing that we actually need for this deck is to replace Poison Shroom, which you can see on the first row right over here, and upgrade it to Blooming Heart, which is an event card. We did get the four Pumpkins again because we have to pull Valk in a pack, which you can scrap for 4,000 Sparks because it's a nerfed card and we got all of our Haunted Pumpkins. I'm probably going to be saving up, saving up the, remain, the remaining Sparks that we have instead of crafting Elderberry number four and Power Flower number four. Um, I'm going to be saving up the remaining ones to actually start crafting some Blooming Hearts since that's really the main thing this deck needs. Correction, I said before that Astrocado is the legendary we need and that is in the Colossal set. That's not. Astrocado is in the Galactic set. I'm going to be putting some more pressure on the field. Really good 3-2 heavy hitter and he has forced to use his Swashbuckler's engine in order to kill uh, our one drop which is really, really good for our aggression here just getting underway. So again, the the, the um, Elderberry and Fireweed. Fireweed is the other card if we happen to pull. I'm not going to be crafting it for the speedrun. If we have to pull one in a pack, that would be amazing. Um, those two are, are, are the cards that we would add to the stack, and then the Legendary would be Astrocado. It's less likely. Probably going to go for Colossal, because getting a free Elderberry will be super efficient. It'll be super efficient. I think developing the Poison Ivy is correct here instead of using a Weed That's a good Weed Whack, but if we had another two, I would Weed Whack and play the two drop. In the meantime, I'm doing this. I do not want him blocking before this happens. Why not? Because Infinity Clones. There's no real reason why. Really nice. Our opponent, going into turn four, is already down to eight health. We're probably going to be, he's probably going to front this with something and we'll cover with Elderberry. If he fronts it with a Gravestone, I'm a little worried about Pogo. I might, here's that. Now we actually have this play, which is going to be Weed Whack. And another Poison Ivy, ridiculous. Ridiculous. He has nothing to hurt us on the ground. Fry stuff being white, that's racist. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, people think that. Uh, so we have three damage strike through next turn. Uh, this game over. These games go so quickly with Agro Solar Flare. This is definitely the best deck 
uh, to climb with because win or lose, you're going to be able to get right on to the next game. Uh, we're about to get a forget-me-nuts, and we actually got our first one. This is the event card. Now, we're not going to be using this. I'm not switching over to aggro wall knight. I had a consideration like that, but we will be scrapping that for sparks. So that is, let's say, one-fourth of a blooming heart, which is really good. I did recycle the Grave Buster. Let's keep it going. We don't, we're not going to have enough of the Blooming Heart anyway. So. Now, once we get some gems and buy some packs and stuff like this, we could very easily have... Even even putting one or two Blooming Hearts instead of the Poison Shrooms is good. They are significantly better than Poison Shroom. Just because they make good matchups after they grow, you know, their high potential is obviously a lot better. One, two... Against Brainstorm, okay, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. You really keep as many Haunted Pumpkins, they're so good. We're gonna be placing these on the ground just so we can use the Scorch. What's going on, Gatney? YouTube help, Fry's holding us hostage. I'm not gonna be playing zombies on this speedrun, I'm just gonna be going probably all the way to Ultimate League. It would take again. It's gonna be. Two more streams, including this one, to get to Taco, and probably then just another two to get to Ultimate. Getting to Taco and getting to Ultimate are very similar, but it's basically going to be six days. Six two to three hour sessions to get to Ultimate League. Um, after this, I'm probably going to go back to my main account, do some streams, um, just with all the deck ideas that we haven't done yet. Ooh, that's a good Scorch. Definitely better than playing Wildberry. Amazing Scorch. He actually missed with the backup dancers. Very, very sad. Uh, we're gonna be going for that. So now we're doing another eight damage to his face. He rolled a one. Everything is going exceedingly well. He does not have a bungee plumber, else he would have used it last turn. Really sad. I'm gonna use this next turn, actually. We do not need to upgrade yet. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Wild Berry in one and blasting something. He's probably gonna put another small minion in front of one of these. In front of one of these. In front of one of these. If he passes here. Interesting. Inter wow, he's not even. What a horrible play. It's gonna be Blast. His summoning could help him here, but if he doesn't get summoning, we win the game on turn three. <laughs> No, he already used Backup Dancer, so if he gets Eureka or Telepathy on the block, we win the game. One in three. Yep, guaranteed lethal. <laughs> two quick games. This is the first time we actually won the first two games of the stream. Last time I think we lost the first two games. Is there a budget version of Conjure Leap? That's really hard. There used to be a budget Bad Moon Rising ramp deck, which you can still kind of do, but I haven't had Ultimate League success with it. You could probably use that if you're, you know, around rank 20 or 30. Probably. No, no bonus stars. So we're getting the real grind. We're actually getting us some gems here. Amazing. Amazing. Keep it going. Hello, Albert. How are you so good? I've been playing this game for three years, so definitely practice makes perfect. If you want to get better at this game, uh, make sure every single time you see a card, click on it and look just what it, what is its abilities and what class, um, what class uh, is it and which heroes control which class. It goes a long way. Also, just after, if you lose the game, just take a second and think why. It goes a long, long way. I'm getting, getting rid of you. I think this one's better. Looking for a one drop. Really looking for a one drop. This is a beautiful hand. Amazing. Especially against Huge Giganticus. Great matchup. I'm going to be putting this on Heights. Just so it doesn't get freeze environment eventually. It doesn't really matter, I guess. So again, if he fronts the you know this next turn, we're just going to Wild Berry. It's just going to get worse and worse. If he plays Dry Doctor Who... I think Scorch actually ends up being the play. It's kind of slow. Oh, we have a one drop. So if he plays Doctor Who, it's definitely going to be Scorch. Uh, in the meantime, we're just going to develop another huge hitter for attack. Amazing. Amazing. There's Beam Me Up. It's still so slow because that's just an even trade and we're, it's just getting worse and worse every turn as his health bar approaches zero. 
Again, there's a slight chance we'll go for the double, but usually this is the play. Uh, we're still gonna play on heights. We're probably gonna do Elder. We'll, we'll see. Kite Flyer. Good trade for him. But he's still losing a lot of health. If he blocks and gets Freeze Environment, he can keep an Arminion on the field and draw two cards here instead. Luckily, that did not happen. Uh, since this is proc the block turn, I might not use Elderberry. Especially if he plays a Gravestone. If he plays a Gravestone here, I'm going to actually just clog two more lanes. And we'll do the Elderberry next turn. That's Electrician. That's fine. It dies. We'll get him down to four. Or if he rolls a one. That's good either way. And our Strike Through Minions will finish this off. He needs Freeze Environment. He got it! Whew! That was huge, actually. Huge. It was huge, okay. Yeah, I have. A f Hopefully, he doesn't play Gravestones. It's gonna be Elderberry Scorch. Goes for Graves. Hitting him for five is very good here. This cannot bounce anything. Five is the way. And then we'll do this. I don't think there's a need to actually Scorch here, though. And the uh -huh. He can't use Barrel of Barrels either. See, if he would have had a little bit extra, if he would have put a one drop here, I would have played around Barrel of Barrels and scorched this. I don't think this matters now. I don't think it matters. Is taking one less damage good? Should we play around Gadget Scientist? You know what? Screw it. One less damage might make a difference. Wait. We just did play around Barrel Barrels. I did not consider Gentleman Zombie. Did anyone say that in the chat? No. Fail. I do not plan on crafting any legendaries for this deck. Just Blooming Hearts now. If we happen to pull a legendary, that would be amazing. But it doesn't really matter. Oof, we're getting really low. In fact... Did I just save us with the... No, I didn't. Because it would have been one less. Only a gas giant. Ooh, ah, we win. Guaranteed lethal. He doesn't have any nerfed cards in hand, right? And he doesn't have that freaking gentleman zombie anymore. Guaranteed. In fact, even in lane three, yeah, this would have. Well, we just need to clock the lanes. All right. Whew, that was actually a close call because he got that freeze environment. That was huge. I've not opened any packs today, but um, we're going to be getting some ranks in Diamond League, so we will. We should be getting some packs today. How many how many gems do you get in Diamond League? Is it 25 or 30? But anyway, if we gain three three times 25, we'll definitely have enough for a pack. And we did get a Forget Me Nets already today. Here we go. Here's Rust Bolt. Good matchup. Doesn't have a good way of dealing with these really high hitting cards. Yo, that's great. Should I Mulligan uh, Poison Ivy here? I don't think so. <laughs> this Rustbolt is in such trouble. What is this man? What's this man gonna do? Nothing. Is Budget Sport still viable? Yes. Uh, I'm. If I do again, I was in the middle of a million sentences. But in future speedruns, uh, next time I do this, I will probably go back and do zombies. I feel like I'm gonna do super brains like a gravestone, gravestone science or gravestone pirates. Maybe I'll even craft Captain Flameface for that deck. Kind of like it. Kind of like it. Is it safe to assume this will come a recurring series? I, I want to do this a few times. Uh, this is just a fun go-to go -to thing. Uh, so this being in, these are the two lanes we'd like this to be in, so play, placing this into lane four is fine. He's reducing a little, just to give us a little block meter manipulation. So far, he's had nothing. He's reduced one damage from Haunted Pumpkin, even this being a 3-2, a one cost 3-2 is freaking amazing here. And we did get Elderberry, so these Poison Ivies just become that much better. Uh, it's possible he has Chop in hand. Now, he definitely doesn't have Nerf. He might have Rock Wall, and he might have Heal. Heal, we would see him use uh, this turn. Looks like YouTube just died. YouTube! Wake up, YouTube. Oh, what happened? Restart the YouTube stream. Scorch looks good here. We don't have to, though. 
In fact, he doesn't have any brains left, so let's just develop this. This is totally fine. I'll get a good scourge eventually. I haven't gotten applesauce or this stream. It's fine though. The wild berries are. Question is, what do we do? This doesn't die. Am I rolling stone it? Uh, if we play Elderberry, it actually moves to this lane. This is just a proc the block turn. If we had two small cards, I would go for that. I don't want to get weed sprayed, so this is definitely not the play. I think Poison Ivy is just as good, though. You could rocket it. But he could rocket this too, so Poison Ivy is better. Poison Ivy is better. Is there a reason to Scorch here? He plays around Sugary Treat. I don't think so. Uh, I'll restart the YouTube stream. And he does have Rocket. Okay, I'm happy to not Elderberry. We'll be able to Elderberry next turn though. This does live. Uh, and YouTube is back up. Okay, so there's that. That's basically his whole play here. Um, so utilizing this for the Elderberry upgrade, he is healing. Should be fine. Him hitting our face for five is pretty good here. Uh, no chop, no nothing. This will move, which is good. We just need our own offense here. We'll use Scorch there. What do I think of Ninja moving the mixer? I don't know. I don't know how much money they offered him. Probably a lot. I have no idea. I, I don't really know anything about mixer. I'm happy there's there's some decent competition for Twitch though, because there's a lot of problems with Twitch. That makes things competition's really good because it makes everyone try harder. What is this? Wait, so on turn six he goes Flag Zombie, maybe Rocket? Um, I, okay, so if on turn six you play Flag Zombie, on turn seven you can play an eight cost card. What would he want to play that costs eight? I don't get it. I couldn't, I can Berry Blast this. Might be worth bearing blasting. I can also just stick this in front. I wish I had two plays here, though. Okay, I think preventing the damage here is fine. Let's just go face. He's healing so much, though. Ah, oh, so much. There we go. And. Does he have chop? <laughs> cool play. Great play. We're in tr we're in big trouble now. He's probably going for Bad Moon Rising now. I just wish I would have saved that Scorch. Laddy daddy. Really good card against this stuff. And coffee. Whew. That's rough. We're in huge trouble. Oh, we got Scourge. So anything that's not more Spore will kill this. Uh, this is the play. Kind of 200 IQ. Now this dies to our superpower when, when we block this turn. This one hitting us would be really good. I'm gonna block the five. He's the the reason why he is beating us here is because of medic, heroic strength, and gladiator. 
No, he blocked the one, and he got more spore. That was the... That was the absolute worst case scenario. I oh, come on. That literally, now we're gonna lose. If we would have been able to blast that 3-1 in the water, we actually could have came back and won this game. And, and now it, it's almost for sure over. That was so annoying. Okay, one and three will block that, I guess, and then we'll be able to zap this. Uh, so this is the play. We berry blast this one. He only has one card, luckily. Uh, we're doing six to his face. We can come back, and we can actually use the more spore in order to buff the elderberry. So six plus five actually wins the game. We actually have a really good chance of winning right now. That hurts it. How does that hurt it? Now we have no chance of winning. Now we have no ch Oh wait, no, block? Yeah, you block, and this always- this always- no, no, sorry, we're good. But he rolled double threes, so now it's almost impossible. This always happens. What would it take to win right now? He has one card in hand. If we get more spore in one and two, let's see what we top deck here. Alright, this is still doable. Proc the block, he got heal, he has nerf in hand. Sorry, his two powers are nerf and rock wall. Uh, he already got heal and... Oh, that sucks. There's nothing that kills this one. We can't both block... We can't block all four lanes. Actually, uh... No, no, that's guaranteed lethal. Extremely unlucky. Extremely unlucky. And then what? Heal decks are actually really good against the aggro decks, so... There's nothing we can do there. <laughs> so unlucky. We dead. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Again, if that's how we lose these games, amazing. Amazing. Because that means the deck's doing really, really well. Means he need a good matchup, which is a heal deck, actually, because he healed for way more than 9 health, which he had left. He healed for 12, I think? No, healed for 6, 4, and 4, 14. Um, alright. Here we go. Oh, maybe against Super Brains we actually mulligan this. Okay, this is okay. Meme reviews of PPC Heroes? Uh, I, I plan on it. Well, I think of Sigma. I don't know. I, I've never been excited about a new hero when it's come out. I've never used Brigida, never used really Ash, Hammond. Uh, not really a big fan of what's his name, Baptiste, who has the worst voice lines easily in the entire game. Damn, that's harsh, because that means we have no play this turn. Okay. Pass. Beat me up. Uh, we didn't see a power out of him, so Chop is likely. He would have used Super. Why did he put that environment there, though? Really weird. I'm actually working on a tier list right now. There's going to be a lot of memes in it. I think this is better uh, just against Chop, unless he develops a 3, three, three drop. Puts a guy in the graveyard. I have no idea what it's going to be. No idea! Wow! Hurts. Hurts. Uh, the more spore will hopefully remove this. In fact, I probably will just go 3 and 1 next turn. 2-2-2? Two, two, two. I like it. I like 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Just because in lower ranks, people are so are so selfish. And they'll just, they'll just have people who are just 3 DPS, have 3, 4 DPS on a team. No one heals. I like it. I'm a DPS main, so I'm gonna get hurt from it. But I kind of like that too, to be honest. Now what the heck do we do? This usually gets blocked. We don't have a very blast play. Um, I think it's like... I mean, very blessed here. I think this is the play. He's running low on cards. We'll probably block the floor. The four. Baptiste? 
Imagine the worst possible outcome. Now, avoid that. Zero Charisma. Statistically speaking, I usually get most of my teammates back alive. They're, it's just so annoying. I'm like, when I have a bad piece on my team, my head starts exploding. Of course, he rolls a 1 and a 2, so anyway. Uh, there's a certain point in time where there's just nothing you can do. He Does he have chop in hand? He almost for sure has chop in hand. <sighs> Would love to use this to... Screw. I think it's just... He might have deadly. He might have deadly, which would make this very sad. I think I'm gonna go with this. Healing a little bit wouldn't hurt. I'm so happy that happened. I'm so happy. He has deadly! At least he doesn't have chat. It's fine. Three damage to face, down to 11. Actually, we do this because of the extra sun for next time. This is worth it. I just wanted to kill it with more spore. Oh, this is so nice. I know what you mean, but I like it. He's read it for me. Uh, he does not have chap. Use as a meat shield. Yes! 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 Full counter! Full counter! He did not save any brains. There's no risk in this play, and we're ruining him. I really hope he does not get chop here. Please, the first one, roll a two. Do not roll a three here. Do not get chop! You know what, that's really not any better. We needed five damage there. We needed that so bad. If we would have done five, we would be within double berry blast range. Now what are we gonna do? What am I supposed to do? Well, this is the play. If we hit him for 8, proc the block, Berry Blast wins next turn. Watch this just go freaking horribly wrong. Yep. I, getting so unlucky. I'm getting so unlucky. At least we proc the block there. How do we survive now? I don't know about this. I do not know about this. There's that. Anyway, this is the play. Uh, I think we just buried Bless. Hopefully this doesn't have four attack. <sighs> Please give me a break. Give this man a break. We already got super, unfortunately. We need Weed Whack now. <laughs> the struggle is real. We're losing stars on that too. If we had just ranked up, these wouldn't matter. But we literally just lost two st scars on fucking bullshit! Come on, man! There, I said it. Oh. Demonetized. <laughs> it's so annoying! <laughs> It's still PG-13. Shut your, shut your freaking mouth. <laughs> Fry loses it in PvZ Heroes. Okay, I need a one drop. I don't care. Okay, we got a two. Good enough. Calm down, Fry. <laughs> this is not Overwatch. Chill. <laughs> Lost such BS. It was such BS. We would have. It's. It's not like. Oh, we would have got to say. We would have won both of those games so easily. Ah. Frustrating. 
I've never related to someone so much. <laughs> Daddy, you're scaring me. <laughs> I just do stuff like this to get a reaction out of the chat. Oh no, this is gonna be... This is actually really harsh, because this is gonna control us for like the whole game. Ugh. It means we can't do drive plays anymore. But we can do this. <laughs> Too slow. It's all good. It's all good. I swore I heard you say something. I like demonetized fry. This is so annoying. Ugh. Now what's the play? Ah, uh, so it's four. Dog. So it's just elderberry, and then this move. It's just elderberry. In fact, that rooster is actually really useful here. It's a little weird. Uh, this rooster is going to let us make a play in an empty lane next turn. We have all strike through anyway, so it doesn't exactly matter. Uh, things go from left to right, so that's why we did not get hunted. There's this freeze. I'm happy it's happening now because that later would block way more than five damage. I'm not saying he's a bad making a bad play, but we actually have a lot of ways of playing around this dog. This dog. I think using this already is fine though. Actually, doing it to the dog is the way. That's nice. it makes it not kill someone. Uh, upgrade. Wow, so annoying. <sighs> oh, so this is cool. It's four. One. And one. The rooster protects actually makes this end up in an open lane. Things go from left to right. This didn't trigger. This did, and it's over. That was an IQ game mechanics. We're doing okay. Um... Uh, so what we do is we clear this lane. Let me upgrade this one. We are doing just fine. Who cares? This one gets scorched now anyway. Usually. What do we have? Scorch and more spore? Speaking of which, oh no, this dies. We're still doing four to him though. Amazing. Oh, okay, it's still Scorch. Huge Scorch actually makes this live and makes both of these die, so that is totally fine. We have double strike through this turn. There it is. Almost impossible for him to win. Two Bloom Rings is exactly what we need here. This is exactly what we have. He needs to not even play. Uh oh. So if he heals for six, he'll be up to eight. And. We'd have to roll lucky in order to make this work. Uh, happens to be next turn, Bloomerang versus Garg. This Bloomerang's damage happens before the Garg heals. So um, we will be able, if he blocks the Elderberry here, uh, we will be able to pull it off. We need a 1 and we got it. Okay, super lucky. But even without that, he would have been down to 1 health. He would have had the Nurse Garg, but Bloomerang would have beat it out. Attacks happen before zombie abilities. It doesn't happen before, before zombie strike through. But it happens before zombie abilities, including friends and heals and stuff. What do stars beneath the plants and zombies mean? Some of them have like a little star uh, underneath their icon. Uh, that means it has an ability. It means click on me because I'm still going to do something. If it has an ability and it's already done and it will never do it, do anything else as long as it's on the board, it will not have a star. But if it has a, an active, some kind of passive, not active, it has a passive ability. Um, it's letting you know that something special will happen. 
Uh, I'll mulligan this and look for... Looking for a 2 or a 1. That's fine. Nice. Great, great deck. Should I recycle Quasar? Quasar's a really good card. I'd be reluctant. Quasar's like... Uh, a card I've, I have underrated. Let's say. Now, this doesn't play around Scorch. It does, well... The Elder... The, really, the Wildberry would rather be on Heights because it dies to Acid Rain. So we'll put this here. Almost up to 69 wins. Oh no. Or Viral. Look, Haunted Pumpkin and Viral are better than Quasar for sure, but, you know, scrapping cards is so inefficient. I really love Quasar. Is Pogo worth crafting? Absolutely yes. Might even craft that for the, for the, for the Super Brain speedrun. We'll see. Maybe I will craft Pogo. Uh, if we go the science route, I probably would. Probably gonna end up doing pirates then. Alright, so we definitely play this here. Definitely want this to face. We'd like this to go on heights. It's super unfortunate. And it's a freaking rat. That's okay. He uses his two caught his two drop to control our one drop, and then our two drop is free to hit face. Face. Plus this guy has no chop. Such a luxury. Brain Freeze is actually a pretty good matchup. Poison Oak makes an appearance. Flame Face for Pirates? Yeah. Probably gonna be Flame Face. Wow, we don't have a Scorch, unfortunately. I mean, we do. And the Scorch is actually smart. The one damage to be able to nerf this. Uh, we do we do Scorch. Well, this is a lane. Is this smart? It keeps a 4-1 on the field, though. That dies to... Acid Rain. Actually not sure about this. We'll have Scorch and a guy next turn. No, I think we actually go face. Yep. Block the three usually. We'll have three plus one next turn. Playing this on the ground into Scorch and he blocks it of course. Does he get Acid Rain now? Do please, please, please. Even Freeze is sad. Okay, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Still Galvanize, Freeze, Rain, and Blow. I don't know why he didn't use a power there. They all seem pretty good. We didn't block, though. <laughs> he rolled double ones. <laughs> no. That's when this deck goes wrong. We're still ahead. Very much ahead. There's Berry Blast. <sighs> berry Blast is worth it. This is a huge Berry Blast. No scorch. We should be able to blast this thing. Unless we get freaking more Spore. Please, no more Spore. We already got Scorch with second and worst power. Do get this amazing. We actually have Poison Oak and one for the win now next turn. Just got our six sun. Isn't that the name of like a old Chinese legion or something? The six sun. Old old uh what's his name? Genghis Khan or whatever his name is. Kangaroo is an insane yeah, Kangaroo, Kangaroo. Kangaroo used to have four attack and five health and they nerfed it to a four three. And since then, it's been completely useless. He actually used to be a decent, like, very low-level control card, because you could make good trades and then bounce back to your hand and replay it. It's really bad. How much does this do? Oh, the synergy. And he completely overcommits. Has no brains left, so we just OTK him. Having the Poison Oak and the Laser Bean, again, in our optimal deck list, you don't run Poison Oak, Laser Bean, you go one more Power Flower and, um, and Elderberry, but we have, we really have had a lot of use, less out of the Laser Bean, but more out of the Poison Oak. Every once in a while, in a situation like that, you just need a little extra damage, and it does give you a way of, like, coming from behind. So we made up our stars again. We're not even up one rank yet. We're actually plus three on the day now. Because of our two BS low. We're five and two on the day. BS losses. 
So I, I would definitely wouldn't run more than more poison oaks. We just happened to pull one and I've had, so I kept it. It's pretty efficient just in terms of where it sparks uh, for the free play account. It's 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 fine. You can make little substitutions and they're fine. This should be good. Let's look for a two or a three. This is this is nice. Do I keep this actually? Well, it's nice if in case he plays a gravestone, we'll have a play. It's really not bad against the smash. Becky, let me smack. So, the thing is, is that this is actually worse against his smash power. It's really nice to be able to get value from this already. I wonder if we play the poison shroom here. Because we'd love if this got smashed. This does get nibbled, though. Uh, okay, I'll play around nibble. If he has smash power, it's just really good. How long will I smurf? I'll do it at least until taco. So today we're going to get to 35, and uh, next time we'll get to taco. What I, well, should I get to Ultimate League? I don't know. I'll, I'll do what, I'm going to ask the, the chat for a vote once we hit taco. You'll see how tedious the climb is to try to climb to Ultimate in four days, which is essentially what we're doing. Um, so after two days, I'll uh, I'll ask the chat, and I'll do whatever they want. If he plays a minion here, he gets very blasted. If he plays a one-health minion, which I'm not sure what the thing would be but it's really nice actually uh, we'll play this on heights because it dies to uh, total eclipse environment it's nice we kept the one drop though because now we have seven damage on the field instead of just four maybe after this I'll just switch over to Minecraft being my main game and he concedes decent concede if he didn't have any way of controlling that on turn two did you get any Uh, 30. 30 per rank. So we are up to 55. So we need two more ranks. We'll get another pack. So up to 31. And then you get two more. And you get 60. Again, it would take, according to my calculations, it would take today's day 4. It would be 4, 5, 6, and 7 to hit ultimate league. Otherwise, it's just going to be 4 and 5 to Taka. This is okay. I think we mulligan this. We want as few two, one or two health minions against a crazy hero. Uh, just so we don't get chickening to the Ice Age. This uh, is not as bad against Trapper, I guess. In game, I'm not accepting friends on this account, but it is to totally not Freya. Yeah. You don't have Solar Flare, any other free-to-play decks you have. So what else, what did you pick as your starting heroes? If you don't have Solar Flare, then you pick Spidow and Chomzilla. Um, definitely not as easy. You can go aggro Chomzilla. You can make this deck and replace the Kabloom cards with Mega Grow cards like Bonk Joy. Um, it's not as good, though. I think this is the play... And weed whack. Man's whack. He's probably planning on smoke bombing that. So what did he do? He bungee plumbered it on turn one. Okay. Here's a really nice poison ivy. It's a lot better than this because it doesn't let a bungee plumber. Dun dun da dum bum bum. Probably should have gone in two actually. So it hits next. Well, no, the third shot usually here gets blocked. Yeah, that's fine. Four is perfect. Well, damn. So that's the time that uh, uh the zapper cow would have been way better because it makes good trades. Oh, that's harsh actually. Here comes the yeti. Here we go. We actually have this play. It's a little sad against Acid Rain, but it's good enough. I'll probably put the film rank here next turn. So if you did it with this deck with Chumzilla, you'd be taking out the Astro Shrooms, which anyway, it's not Blooming Hearts. You put in Bong Choi. Um, in the three slot, the pro okay, in the two slot, you'd need either a Solar or a Mega Grow card. Um, you can use, like, uh, instead of the, you can actually use just Fire P 
instead of the wild berry, which is better in a lot of cases, especially against the... Uh... Actually, no, he doesn't have acid rain. I don't know what I'm thinking. I thought I was still against brain freeze for some reason. This is a good play. This is a great play. And he didn't get super amazing. He could get deadly, but that's fine. It's not worth it. Uh, if you're going to make this deck again, we're talking to someone who plays... Ch Ooh, he's chickening me. That was good. That was great. We're still in good shape. We'll have a third card next turn. Still in great shape. Have him down to eight. Um, so in the two slot, you go Fire P instead of Wildberry, which is fine. In the three slot, so you have Zapricot. You're gonna need a three. So which Mega Grow or Kabloom three would be good? So if you happen to have, haunt, you know, uh, Jack O' Lanterns, you could even use like Strike Through Flower on three. It's probably good enough. Probably gonna block that. Amazing. Yeah, I, I was I thought I was still against Infinity for some reason, uh, Brain Freeze for some reason. That was just last game. Kind of talking to the chat now. What else would you have to replace in the six? What would you use on three? I'm just trying to think. Are there any high hitting Mega Grow threes? Like budget budget Mega Grow threes. Anyone? You know, I, I looked at making a second instance, but this is just Nox. It's a win, too. Maybe for this climb, we didn't lose a star at least, but maybe for this climb I'm gonna have to get rid of Nox and, and, and download this on my phone. It's so annoying. You know what, I should back up this account, put it on my phone, make a new email address. Uh, the, the internet went out. So I'm counting that as a loss. It do, well, it does count as a loss. I'm counting all the cheese as well. We're showing what a Nox run looks like. Muscle Sprout, muscle sprout could work. Repeat, no, not repeater. It's too slow. It charges the block meter too much. I looked into Parallel Space. I downloaded Parallel Space. You cannot run. There's only a few apps you can run Parallel Space, like like Skype. Uh, you cannot run a second account of PPC Heroes. It doesn't work. It just doesn't support it. It, do it almost doesn't support anything. I have like 100 apps on my phone. I was able to support three. You've crafted the entire aggro to the flare. Now you have extra sparks. What should you do to upgrade the deck? Wingnut or Fireweed? Those are good choices. Wingnut. Wingnut's like an anti-meta card. You don't actually need it. Here's Super Brain, so we'll get rid of this five, 5 card. This is okay. We're talking about Chumps right now. This is fine. This goes in two, so the third the third shot can get blocked. So we want that to be the three damage than the four. Um, really ask, I think the, the, the main card after you've crafted this, if you have the Blooming Hearts already, Fireweed is good on two, it is better than Wildberry. Any of them is fine. Wingnuts is also just good in other decks. He didn't even front it, too. We're absolutely killing this guy. I think that the third, fourth shot, this actually should have gone in, in one, because it does, nothing gets blocked this turn, and this will probably proc the block and set up for more damage, so. Slight misplay. Teacher? Oh, so this is the play. Pumpkin to clear a lane. And uh, he might have alien in his food cares. As long as it doesn't have extinction events, is not a monster card, right? It's just a history card. Let's go. This ja Again, Jackal Lantern can be fine on, on three in a, in a aggro. Um, Chomp Solo deck. It's, it's, it's definitely legit. It's two strike through. It has three health, so it's a nice amount of health for three cost card. And it grows. It's a strike through card. It keeps hitting. It keeps getting better. He's super to preserve that. In fact, the one here procs the block. Where do you get Bungie from? Wait. 
from Frozen from Frosty Mustache. Harsh. Talk about unluck. What am I supposed to do? You got it from from freaking A. Okay, at least this comes off the field. We're actually doing okay here. The power flower will uh, cause him some major problems next turn. Thanks for making free to play streams. Yeah, this is fun. Why am I not running Jack O' Lantern in this deck? Uh, first of all, Poison Ivy and and Zapricot are better. I think having four a four two immediately is better than two and then three and then maybe it's removed. Uh, you want to really concentrate on taking damage when you can, uh, or doing damage as as you can here. I think this is correct. We got this from this freaking A thing. It's really nice. This is a three cost card that he's using. Uh, I'm gonna go with Power Flower and do the di more direct damage next turn. We block the three. Even if he does, we'll do more damage. That's okay. He probably has chopped now, but we don't have any minions. We're actually in really good shape. So he's he did not have deadly. He used um, super and I'm not even paying attention right now. He probably has chopped in hands. So moving this. Okay, so how does this work? Uh, either way. The best. This is fine. That's exactly what I need. It doesn't matter where this goes now. It goes to one, it goes to three. It doesn't matter. Actually, he can block now. Should I have done that the other way around? Actually, no, we're doing one. Yeah, that's fine. Now we have three, three. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he, there's no minions that can no minions in the field. It's, it's, he already had super anyway. I got him. I'm not gonna p t take out the laser beam and the poison out. There's nothing better to add right now. Poison Oak really has won us games. The laser beam. I'll take out the laser beam once we get another four or five. Keep it going. You don't have any pumpkins, only two apple saucers, no elderberries, 260 stars, sparks, 85 gems. What do you do? Again, if you want to see how I spent my gems in this account and how I got everything, then go for it. But you just got to save up, get more gems, buy more packs, and, and you'll get there eventually. You're not necessarily going to get there in one day, but... Uh, right now I'm on my fourth day. Uh, I can smash this one's definitely better. I'm looking for a two. Ooh, I think I get rid of this now. That's fine, because at least we have we can protect this stupid Morse board. Uh, at least we can protect this on turn two. I'll put some heights. You can also maybe eventually upgrade this with the. can watch ads to get more or you can just again if you just make a budget deck and you get to rank like like you saw me do in this account already and you get to rank 20 and you keep on buying packs uh, if you're definitely if you're trying to min max one deck like we're doing here you can easily do it didn't spend a penny here didn't watch a single ad i specifically did not watch ads this is a sumo uh so this is the play we really want one to front here yes 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 wrecked <laughs> 300 IQ. If it was a rat, which is more common in this thing, he definitely would have fronted it. This is totally fine. Uh, if he goes lane 4 mascot, we have an answer. This is fine, though. This will proc the block and we'll hit him for 5. And he cannot use his super to take out this 5, so this is way better against Becky Lem Smash. Lem Smash. Hey, this will be our 69th win. Now we're special.
Down to eight. That was turn three. He's down to eight. Ugh. Perfect. Couldn't be better. He'll front this. He'll probably upgrade this to Elderberry now. My Elderberry don't. Maybe I'll just Elderberry in three instead. That's what he got. You're so funny. My Elderberry don't want none if you don't got bun, hon. Uh, keep this on the field, because no one cares, and we have strike two minions anyway, so no one cares. Yep. We have Berry Blast uh, to face. We have Boomerangs in hand. And he has freaking heal. Freaking chump champion. This is nice. Kept us alive. Stay in life. Oh no. Wow, that's actually pretty big. Uh, I think it's gonna be Berry Blast on a card now, actually. Actually. Yep. Got 13 minions here. Get that weak stuff <laughs> out of here. Huh? Uh, this is uh, about as good of a Scorch as we'll get. We could roll one. This is still alive. We have more strike through. We is in good shape, ladies and gentlemen. Good old shape. Galvanize. Galvanize. We still have eight health. Look at this field. Look at this hand. Look at this everything. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ah, uh, so it's gonna be Bloomerang in one. Uh, it does not matter. <laughs> he's running Chump Champion. This is the one he got from the Sports Star, but he's running it. Uh, he's running his mouth. He's running it south. It's guaranteed lethal. I already played this Cosmic Sports Star card. Yeah, no. Nothing this man can even do. All right, we're up to 69. How appropriate. How appropriate. 69 wins! Woo! 69 wins, stop now. You guys can 60 my 9. I think I'm gonna stop now. Why is everyone saying nice? <laughs> Why is everyone saying we're nice? Is that a meme? <laughs> you guys are hilarious. There we go, we're getting super brains! Super brains! This is a decent hand. This gets chopped to the Ice Age, but that's fine. Why 69 so fun? It has some kind of uh, sexual connotation. We'll put it that way. We'll leave it at that. Uh, have I played Laser Bean? I have, like, once or twice. There's usually not much need for it. Laser Bean's the next card I'll take out of this deck. Actually, if I'm... Well, when I get a late game card. Okay, he's so slow. This guy is so slow. <laughs> Look, Mommy, I'm slow now. I'm not gonna play Zombies Mar Martelek on this, on this uh, run, so please don't ask me. It's like the third time you've asked. We got a, a freaking A thing. Got a freaking A thing. If this is his chop, so freaking be it. That's all I got to say. Did YouTube die again? <laughs> What's with YouTube today? YouTube streaming sucks. That's all I have to say. He didn't have chop. 
We've double berry blast to face for guaranteed lethal now in turn four. That's amazing. Are you messy? I'm fairly neat. I'm kind of average. I can't say I'm super, super neat. Can't say I'm super messy. Uh, easy. God. It's up to 70 now. Yeah, it seems like the YouTube server is actually screwed up tonight. It said it couldn't find the YouTube server. Okay, here we go. This is a nice hand. Got removal. We got early game. We got all these cards that Rust Bowl can't deal with for the life of him. Everyone's spamming H. What's wrong with you guys? I love this chat. You guys are so cute. Why are you all so cute? We rolled a one. Hallelujah. We rolled a one. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. No need to weed whack yet. A 4 1 is. Just the same as a 4-2 to Rust Bolt, basically. How do we know we are cute? Because you're acting cute, George. That's okay, though. Elder Berry value. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much for rolling stoning. I did not want this charging his block meter. Again, it looks like a play because you get rid of a card, you clear Plane, but that is a really, really bad play against aggro decks, keeping their one attack minions on the field is the absolute best thing you could do. Holy moly, that was so bad. I, I'm not going to blame a, a player who's relatively new to this game. I don't know if this is an Ultimate League player. You don't even know at this point. Probably is. But, uh, you gotta, that's not, oh, King Crimson, you're so nice. There is Alien Ooze, it's so slow. He uses a three-cost card to remove this. Now we're getting him. This is turn three. We're gonna get him down to eight with an empty block meter. That's the same as five with a full, it doesn't matter. And we have two Berry Blasts in hand. Amazing. Keep that offense. Keep it going. Probably win on turn four here. Pumpkin is Solar. So you can do it with any of the solar heroes. Solar is actually the main class in this deck because of Haunted Pumpkin, um, Applesauce, and then the, the whole late game. Uh, so we'll have him within Berry Blast range. Even if he heals. Hey, okay. boop you! I boop you in your face! Agro Solar Flare. One of the best decks in the game. Why is not Kabloom? I, I like the fact that they gave the Solar Class Aggro. I think that was a great way to mix it up. I feel like that's what all the strike through in the Solar Class sort of needs in the early game. Maybe to make it more, you know, they could have made it a one, uh, like a 3 1 strike through card. Maybe it would have been a little bit more solar, but I don't, I don't have any problem with there being weird cards that aren't necessarily super class appropriate. We're looking for early game. Yes, that helps so much. And the Berry Blast can help keep it alive on too. Charisma 14. There we go. Fry, why are you next? 78% win rate. Please, no gravestones. We need a three really bad. Really, really bad. Wow. We're in trouble now. We're actually... We, ha we gotta stay ahead. Ah, come on. Where is Poison Ivy? It's good enough. And it gives us an upgrade next turn, theoretically. Do not use Berry Blast to face here. You do that all the way to the end. 
I look like pumpkin. That's me. Uses his flick, it just makes this more viable. Use the berry blast. We'll have enough extra sun at the end to berry blast to face, but in the meantime, sometimes removing minions and keeping your guys in the field is definitely the uh, correct way. He's not going to have enough flicks, and that's so slow. That's the greatest thing. Did he just mill himself? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is card number 10 for him. So he's theoretically milled now. Uh, he played a gravestone. I think we're going to double up here. Is that a power flower? We don't need to heal. We're just going to put as much damage on his face as possible. Loudmouth. Way too slow. We trade one for one and do three damage to his face. His face could get there. Three damage is still really good. Bam, bam. A little bit slow, but this is kind of how we want it to go. This is weird. I think it's Elderberry. You think he has Chop? I haven't been paying attention to his powers. If he has Chop, this is the play. It's a piece of trash garbage. What, what powers has he played so far? He's played heal. He has not played Rockwall. Did he place? Is this the guy who played super? I don't remember. No, no. He's. This is not the guy who played super. Here comes the bunny. Here we go. Here comes the bunny. This is a little bit weird. It's gonna be three, two, strike through, kills the uh, elk, and we'll weed whack that to keep power flower alive. That goes here, dies for free. If he's holding chop, then you use it. Great, he has chop. Amazing. Power flower lives. Please, I go here. It's a strike through anyway, so we just want this to go to three. It's a 50-50. <laughs> okay. We're still doing alright. Nice card. I think this is the play. There's no need to play into... Oh, if he has a weed spray here, we're dead. That's the one that's proccing the block this turn, so that's not necessarily what he wants to do. He has two attack. He does have weed spray. We're still doing six. That's okay. We're probably going to be able to sustain out of here. I mean, his block meter. He gets super here. Wow, so unlucky! So unlucky! He's getting all the perfect powers. Where's Rockwall? Wow, I'm so dead. So, what is this over the course of two turns? This is 9, 11, and 11. Uh, otherwise, it's 9 and 9, which doesn't really win. What do we get that actually makes us win next turn? We're not blocking. We're never going to block. It would have to basically be laser beam next turn. If we keep this, nothing helps us. So we have to prevent this. If we have an top deck laser beam, we'll 
probably win this game. Not anymore. Just to think if he does not get the, the, the super there, then we're down to four. We could win this game. If he didn't block, we would be fine. You know what, every once in a while with aggro decks. Every, every, you know, every five or six games or so, you're just gonna get completely screwed by the block meter. There's nothing we can do here. There's nothing we can do here. If he wouldn't have gotten chop earlier, we would have won that game. A lot of things we could have, we could have, could have gone right. But then what, that's the way. Especially a fragile deck. This is a very, very powerful deck, but it's also it's high risk high reward, and that just happens. I'm gonna look for a one. I'm gonna look for a one. That's okay. Turquoise Skull deck. I don't have any great ideas for it. I'd like this to go on heights if possible, but it doesn't really matter. If I would have gone for Elderberry Upgrade, you're right. I was playing around Rocket Science. Maybe I should have played around Weed Spray. Landscaper Weed Spray. Uh, you're right, though. But, well, the Landscaper probably would have... I don't know. You're right. 5 plus 3 would have won. Maybe upgrading there was correct. This is okay. The score will be good value. And we can always take this out next turn with the, uh, with the Bloomery. Onion Heal Champzilla is the new meta. I, didn't mind, I wouldn't mind trying. Um, Onion Heal Champzilla. That's actually a really good idea because that's a really nice, that's a really nice like hurt me daddy for the first few turns and then come in and heal and come in and onion rings. It's the same thing. It's not a bad idea actually. Used. Use rogue health, or no, in whatever frenzy, whatever it's called. You know. Don't have a way of dealing with that. I think I'll just go bloomerang here. <gasps> no. <sighs> He's basically dead though. His smash power can only take out one of these. What about his heal? His heal will bring him to ten. Let's just go face. No point in screwing around. Hello, Max Fusion. Possessed, that's what it's called. I fry his god. Um, so Super does not win. Heal will save him a little bit. That's lethal. Turn four lethal. I had plenty of those today. Looking for a one. Not a bad hand though. As long as you get a two and a three, you're fine. Raw zombie turquoise. I understand. This is not going to be consistent. It's really there's so many counters to decks like that. 
If you think as Ra Zombie, for example, is a six cost card, and it makes your opponent only have four sun that turn. So think about having a four cost three four. That's horrible. That's so bad. Oh, that's so annoying. That's really, Gladiator is really good against this deck. If we had Haunted Pumpkin on one, that would be different. If we get a Wild Berry, we'll be fine. But otherwise, that's going to be blocking a lot of damage. Which zombie hero should you get? Better buy premium packs and make your current decks better rather than spreading yourself thin and buying more heroes. If you're really going to buy a hero for the long run, I don't know, Brainstorm. I don't know. You Giganticus when it comes out. You like Five Nights at Freddy? I'm such a big fan of the horror genre. This is so annoying. Okay. We'll have options to the left or the right. Fun fact, Applesauce used to be when destroyed heal your hero for two. Cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, Flesh Heal together. Gotta fix that link, dude. <laughs> he is protected. Oh no. Okay, we've reached like rank 30. We've reached the board ultimate league low, you know, season reset guys who are just gonna be using these troll decks against us. It's fine. Could you please? Could you please not? That's good. Artichoke. Planet of the Graves. Allosaurus. I've tried that. I've done it before. You can only pull off the combo one out of every five games, and even then, it doesn't do enough. Because just one damage at a time and charge the opponent's block meter, and it's over. Oof. Interesting. This is a great upgrade. This is amazing. This is amazing. Here we go. Uh, plus, our power flowers will be able to heal once we kill this stupid guy. So stupid. This is nice. This will be a 5 2. Perfect against the smash. Back of the smash. We're really up to the. Up, once you cross rank 30, it means you're playing against ultimate leaguers, theoretically. We're still pretty early in the season. Uh, later. Which means anything can happen. We can face any deck at this point. At this point, <laughs> especially the guy with just all. <laughs> what the heck is this? Man, it's crazy. Uh, we should be trying to play around. Um, around super as much as possible. So, I think. Let's go like this. Becky, let me go face. He could have a, he could have a sneaking event. He could have anything here. Environment. If we're on sneezing zombie, I have no idea. Maybe he's sick and tired of heal decks. Maybe he thinks since we're solar flare, we're automatically heal deck. What is he? What is he doing? He's healing for too much. This will have him down to eight. It's pretty good. So he doesn't have super. He doesn't have super. That's good news. About 50 50 of getting it now. Yeah. Okay, this guy is so annoying. <laughs> How are we gonna beat him? Ah! Okay. I kill you like this. Like this. Against Helix is annoying. That doesn't do much. Not at all. Sad. So we do three. Um, if he gets Galvanize here, it's not really going to help. If he gets Super Smash, oh, we rolled a one and a two. Very lucky. Got Galvanize. Yes! That's way better than Beculum Smash. But Becky, how come you won't let me smash? Oh, no. This is definitely the play. You need a strike through. He needs Zombot to get saved here, basically. Is there any reason to Scorch? No. 
And he needs to throw a Zamba or a, or a Nurse Garg in two. Nurse Garg in four doesn't even do enough. That is totally fine. Uh, It's actually over here. Against Becky. Let me smash. We got lucky there because we rolled low and he didn't get his smash power. There's a lot of things that actually could have gone wrong, so. We would have needed a nurse in two. There's Yes. We ranked up finally. <laughs> We're up to 32. This has been like an hour and a half stream. There's been a lot of BS. Okay, I think for tomorrow, the next stream, I'm going to get off of Nox because that has actually slowed us down significantly. I'm going to back up this account with an EA.com account. Please, you guys, if you haven't already, this is a decent hint. Um, please back up your accounts. We've started with more for like eight games in a row now. La 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 la. Hopefully he just puts a dry minion so the very blessed gets the value here. I don't even know who I'm playing against. Nox is stupid. I'm not changing the uh, command. You can see the PC command here. It's not worth it. So I'm gonna switch the game on my... Actually, no, I don't want to because what if I can't get it back? It'll be the saddest day ever. I did not lose my other account. It's on my phone. This is on Nox. Superman! Look, if he has to use the Super Brains to remove a one drop, that means we're amazing. And it means he doesn't have chop either, so. We're in Gucci shape. I wonder if we play on heights. It's a little weird. There's laser base alpha, is the only thing on the ground that Super Brains really threatens. This is. Wrong link, because he plans on covering it. Whatever. Oh my goodness! Doctor Who, look at these plays. Look at these plays, you guys. So we should still be playing around Block Deadly. Um, oh man. Who is this guy? And just plays Vampire in the wrong lane? Is he gonna smoke bomb this? He's definitely gonna smoke bomb this. It doesn't actually matter that much. We're still doing wild berry and berry blasting wherever this ends up. This is still the play. I'm calling smoke bomb. Zmex super would clear this field. He got super brains from Quasar. So annoying. He'll go to lane. Interesting. He prevents one more damage, but does a lot less to our face here. This is fine. This is fine, because now we can kill this eventually. Whoo, <laughs> rolls a one. Harsh. We have six. It's proc the block turn. Probably not gonna have a bonus attack, so the strike through minion here is actually decent. We can also let this keep hitting our face. I think going aggressive, going aggro is correct here. After all, this is an aggro deck. This is the Bloomerang, it actually trades well against this uh, Doctor Who as well. Damn. It still does damage. Hopefully it turns into a blob. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so annoying. Another one? That wasn't good, because that'll kill it anyway. Horrible. He should have... <laughs> still has three attack. He should have bonus attacked with something else. At least the vampire. That's annoying. So we're doing three to his face. It'll be seven on an empty block meter. This is okay. We'll also have two extra brains next year. We're not in great shape. We need some like him. Kind 
conjure beta caratina i don't know if you have a, the guardian the guardian the good conjure cards for the guardian class like uh health you know like triceratops is the best one so there's a lot better class better to do that with grass knuckles or with uh spit out we did get a late game card super good super good you know what should bad moon rising yeah Um, I'll check Roki in a second. I'll time him now if he's being obnoxious. It, it, let, let's presume it's Bad Moon Rising. This does six. It's really weird, but this is the play. Just so we can win with Power Flower next turn. This is sort of our win condition. I'm really nice we didn't front this, because now he has to Bad Moon Rising. This is fine. Okay, Roki, you gotta you gotta try to learn how to be a little more socially appropriate. Thank you. He got a freeze. This is so big. No, we would have won the game. We would have won the game. You don't. That was so lucky. That was so lucky. We have Power Flower in hand. We would have won. We need an Elder. But no, Elder Bray doesn't even do it. Okay, it's still doable. Barely. Barely, but it is still doable. What do we get on our block that helps us here? Nothing. Froze the wrong one! Are we gonna get the new victory? Does he have another frosty mustache? No, he totally screwed up that play. Totally screwed up that play. Now we're healing for a little bit too. I don't know about this. We need a berry blast. Was weed whack? Oh no, weed whacking! This was the play! Oops, I screwed it up! I screwed it up! Weed whacking this wouldn't have killed the power flower. Damn it, damn it. I, I, you don't have a lot of time. You have one second to think about it. I was thinking about this would be lethal anyway next turn with four. I forgot we have a five health minion. That's just quick thinking. It's just quick thinking. We lose the game. We actually could have won. We actually could have won. We probably would have won here, actually. Unless he has a bonus attack. Well, this was the play. I should have weed whacked this one. I should have done nothing. Since it didn't matter. Actually. Yeah. Watch him have it anyway. If he has any kind of strike through, any kind of bonus attack. I'd love to see that there wasn't. <sighs> you have to weed whack this one. Super would have done it. Watch him screw it up. He'll leap this into a, uh... No, it always wins. Watch him time out. I've not reached out to other streamers for help yet. Uh, phone cats we did a little bit. Uh, he's probably gonna time out here, actually. I'll take the star any way I can get in this account, especially since we've had so much BS today. Yay, we win! Strings type here? You think Nox lagged? No, but Nox would be would be disconnected here. Nox didn't lag me, I mean, if he's on Nox. I'm counting everything as a win and a loss, no matter how cheesy it is. That's what I'm doing, because again, we're, it's not about how well does this deck perform. We're anyway switching up the deck a lot. Uh, it's all about... That's uh, really good. It's all about how the... Uh, more Spore we get every time. Why don't I start with Weed Whacker Super? How come it just doesn't happen? <sighs> You're so annoying. 
conjure is fine, but it's not the most effective strategy, just an all-out conjure deck. It's unreliable. Depends what you want. It's very fun, though. It's fun and effective, so if you're looking for fun and effective, do it. You're a piece of garbage. Did I go more spore here? No. It's going to be a huge liability. Did he quit because he think he lost? I don't know. You, my friend, is annoying. This is when having more spore would be nice. I think this is the play. This is so bad against pets, though. Who's worse, Brainstorm or Infinity? Infinity is better than Brainstorm usually. Even though Brainstorm for budget player, if, if brain, sorry, Brainstorm? Yeah, Brainstorm's like the on the highest level of the game, the best hero in the game. On budget, he's one of the worst heroes. He healed. Okay, at least the heal's over with. Do I capitalize on this? It also clears the lane. It also kills this though. Uh, the, the, the shrooms actually take, take out the, um, the zookeeper, so this is dumb. This will die to a power flower boomerang eventually. Squirrel? Yeah, a squirrel would have been pretty harsh there. The budget Bad Moon Rising Blah Brainstorm deck is not good anymore. That's a, that's a nerfed deck. Nebula used to give you three brains. Blob used to be Bullseye. They used to be, combine two really good budget strategies that n the nerf of Nebula really, really took a hit. It really hit the budget, a lot of the budget um, zombie decks. What do you think this is? Okay, this is worth it. This is how we do it, folks. And we'll have open lanes for the everything. Five and six, actually, wins next turn. Should proc the block. Yes. We're not blocking, which is fine. If he doesn't make a, a lane one play, we'll win. Or have alien is. Otherwise, we'll just clean some lanes up. So, the play is... Clean this lane and block this one. Damn! Screen door shield! I love you, no homo. I love you, homo. <laughs> Why no homo? That's no fun. Poison oak is underrated. I don't know. Again, it's it's a little hard to pull off, especially since on turn 6, people playing dry zombies on turn 6 is stupid. If they don't play dry zombies, it's easy to deal with. What is this guy doing? This is strike through, at least. You're so annoying. Actually, we already got more spores, so I should have just played Poison Oak there. Yeah, I definitely should have played Poison Oak. Whoops, I missed Lethal. Uh, yeah, I'm stupid. We still would have won. We still would have won. Okay, we'll do it next turn. We definitely would have won the game. <laughs> Look, mommy, I'm dumb now. Please roll one. Oh, I, okay. Now I'm, now I have to. Yes, we rolled a one. Everything's fine. This will be only. Oh, dear me. I guess we'll very blast this one now. I definitely would have won the game. Why am I so dumb? Even Alley News does not help. I can't really heal. I should win here. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, time to concentrate. We're gonna hit rank 35 today. Could have had Locust Storm, you're right. Last turn he didn't have. Shouldn't have 
that up. So what are we now? We're we're halfway. After an hour and a half, it's about three hour stream. <sighs> okay. Look at my screen mirror. I don't want to delete my account on my phone. I'm too scared to do that. That is a hell of a good hand. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Lying down. So good. I'm playing it here since the, the turn two play is going to be in lane three, and we'd like this not to get blocked. Freaking Cyborg did not have so Super on one really not only, you know, reduces the damage, it starts charging his block meter. Super on one's actually a really, really good play against this deck. It's almost better than like Neptuno's that removes it outright because it's just gonna cause him to block so much and get chop and so he doesn't have super. Um, he either has heal rock wall or chop. If we don't see a power here, I'll play around chop next turn. So slow, three damage is huge on turn two. People are saying Conjure is bad. Again, Conjure, it's not reliable, but there are some very high-level Conjure decks. Uh, things with Doctor Who, or on the plant side with, let's say, Captain Cucumber. Just look it up. Just type in Fry Him Up Conjure into YouTube. Now this... He didn't front it, so it's probably not Landscaper. What did he play? He played Beam Me Up. He played nothing and Beam Me Up. It's probably Kite Flyer. Sumo? He might have chop. He might get chop here too. I don't know. I think I'll just go with this. Helportation love. Cool. I'm presuming he doesn't have a one cost card though. Tater Todd, I did get a Valkyrie and Mulligan did, but again, that was on the first day. If you've been playing this game for, I've been playing this this account for a few days. If you play this account, that was the wrong lane. You gotta put that in three, dude. Um, if you play this account for a few months, just save up your sparks and buy buy premium packs and just do it. You'll you'll get enough for the Haunted Pumpkins eventually. Thank you, Godly Ice Star. Okay. Actually, this gives us a <laughs> good, gives us a nice upgrade. Eh, it doesn't matter. He used super there. He hasn't used the power yet, right? He didn't heal. I could try to draw out the chop. This is a little weird. Well, this is useless because of super. Because of this. I kind of have to take out this teleportation zombie at some point here. I wonder if we actually invest into killing the teleportation zombie. It'll probably leave this on the field. If, or do we just go face and play into chop? This will make him stop passing too. He probably does have chop. The apple saucer is actually better later because of strike there. I'm gonna do this. A little bit weird how we have to get rid of his. This is a great control card because it makes anything we play in the field is just gonna front. <laughs> Cyborg? That's just when his name doesn't load. That's not the name of the guy. Cyborg, it'll be Gargantua for Smash. Penelope for... <sighs> um, prioritizes that over protecting your own face. Whatever, dude. He's running beat me up, so it's just a little sad. It's not going to here. Haven't seen a super again. If he had Rock Wall, he probably... He might have played it there. We gift her. Ho, 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 ho. I think... I wonder who that helps more. He gives us more optimized plays, theoretically. We're gonna have to wait till we can. I guess we should probably just play the Elderberry and get it over with. What's the play here? I don't even see it. Elderberry in four? Are we crazy? I don't see it.
Why did we gift her get a nerf? Because, because miracle decks were too good. Which is, I don't think they were too good. They were trying to nerf some decks like, they tried to nerf, we gift her to nerf Valt decks. Which you don't even run it, just run Valt Trickster Hybrid, it's not even hard. They actually nerf we gift her to nerf the Valt deck. I think this is the play. <sighs> Stupid. That's fine. Cool. It'll freeze the three, I guess. It'll freeze the, f the actually lane four. Keep his dude alive. Should you craft one blooming heart or four elderberries? For this deck, four elderberries is definitely better. How does it feel to have nothing? Awesome. What do we get here? No pogos. It's a kangaroo! Bouncing this off the field could be real good here. Real, real good! Hey, and I'm feeling good! I don't know what I do here. Maybe killing us with power flowers, though. Power flower. Probably killing with power flowers the way. How about elderberry apple saucer? Strike through. If he has chop, we'll just get out of his hand and actually get some value from these ivies. Maybe we'll use an ivy. We're not gonna have an ivy. There's the chop. Going viral would be very, very harsh. That's fine. It's pretty slow. He has now three, six, seven, eight. We do have two empty lanes now, so we might be able to pull off a poison egg. This power flower is a little too expensive for us right now. I think it's gonna be Poison Ivy in one and Power Flower in either two or four. No Poison Ivy, mean Poison Shrew. That was the other way around. I think having an open lane might be good. Alright, let's do this. We have to protect our face. Actually, anyway. Whoa! Wow. Well, I think his deck is just too controlly. The teleportation zombies and the teleports and the beam me ups have just been killing us here. You know. <laughs> wow, this synergy! This synergy! got this from Haunted Pumpkin and he got that from Thinking Caps. This grows by like a thousand. We do zero damage to his face this turn and we have three very bad late game cards. These are so good on three and so bad if they're able to get. Again, we couldn't play this on three because he had a freaking teleportation zombie on the field. That's actually what screwed us up. I can't do anything here. We are in such bad shape. We'll use one of them here. We have to block this. In fact, we don't even have all the plays now. So I'm going to go with this. And I guess we're just chum blocking. I might as well go with this one. We're almost for sure going to lose this. Da 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 da. Is that Guru? I like that. Deathly Spaghetti, why are you apologizing? Be fry, Guru. I like that. That's supposed to be uh, Despicable Me guy, right? Decent me. I like your depiction of my beard and stuff. Beautiful. We're still alive. We're still alive. Maybe a miracle will happen. <laughs> as, if, as if anything could have gone wrong. Wow, we, we have no big removal, so this Yeti's permanently on the board. Uh, a transparent image would be cool. It would be useful if I would ever want to stick that in an image somewhere. Oh, so how do we do this?
Maybe something good will happen. Sonic Bloom. I've tried Agri Solar Flare with Sonic Bloom and it did not have any success. It can be good to like an extra Berry Blast, to, like a really expensive Berry Blast to face. You almost never get more than You're not running team ups. Unless you start running stream for two on turn one, which is not a good idea. Because then it gets countered and then you have the thing charging your opponent's block meter if they stick any minion in front of it. That happens. Alright. Loss number 21. Go fry! What's 9 plus 10? Did he get a second chop from thinking? Yeah, if he got chopped, freeze. Yeah, there's, you know, it happens. Will I do the daily? Is it a Super Pains daily? I don't know, is there any point in me doing dailies in a second? What's 3.6? What's KD? Kids? I have 3.6 kids. This is okay. Go on heights. <gasps> Getting us with the cheese. Ooh. First time we've ever played against a cheese cutter in this deck. I don't know. Uh, well, you know, if he passes and tries to grow this, we can actually berry blast it to the Ice Age. Since we have Berry Blast and Weed Whack in our hands. Oh, tough decision, but I think I have to go face. This is really, really hard. I think this is fine. Kills Death is 3.6, so it's pretty good. Um, this is over the course of a few gaze, days, Rob. Look at the title of the stream. If he passes, I think I just go Berry Blaster. <laughs> okay, now let's do it. Maybe I go face again. I'm not sure. It really depends what he gets. That's so hard. Did he get Brain Freeze power to keep that alive? You know what? I'm so happy he used that there. It was to keep a 2-2 alive. Who cares, dude? It's going to be much more useful later. Blob on 3. So that has 4 attack? This guy's stupid. So the third shot. Anyway. I guess we'll start playing in the heights. Story mode in this game, I haven't even finished it once. <laughs> I don't care. I like PvP games. I don't like... That's the biggest... That's the biggest... Um, proof that I shouldn't be heavily investing in the stream into single player games. Because <laughs> I haven't even fin finished single player mode yet. Uh, the Elderberry is really, really good here. There's also Weed Whack Applesauce. This is fine. If this gets Acid Rains, it's totally fine. I don't know what's with the Blob. Well, he got the Blob from my Haunted Pumpkin. It's a brain repair. That procs the block. He's down. He's really... Oh, please get the 3-1. Even getting the Elderberry back isn't bad here. That's so good. <sighs> this guy's dead. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, this is going slow. I guess I'll just do the full three hours and get to rank 35. I might as well. It just it just seems like it goes so much slower because you're not getting bonus stars and because there's so much BS at these, these ranks. I tried using Blob in a tempo deck. You're covering a cards. If you look at the stats of the first card you covered, which is the tempo card, so it has decent stats, you're decreasing those and you look what Blob gives you. On which turn would that be good? I don't think it's a tempo card at all. It's like a liking finisher card. Looking for a two, and we got one. I don't think Blop really gives you enough uh, tempo to be worth it. This goes here. Yeah, it loaded his nickname. Will I get off of Nox? I don't actually know a good way to get off of Nox here. Oh, this, a one drop is so huge. Oh, 
Um, is it? Well, we, we want the Poison Ivy next turn. Uh, I think we, we do blast this now, so... Okay, it's going to be you. Put it here, actually. We're actually going to have extra sun next turn and stuff. Which is cool. We'll blast this one. We don't want him hitting us for Bullseye. It's not as bad as combo. We're not really drawing cards and stuff. I know who Hector the Third is. I don't, uh... I don't... He hasn't put his, his face or anything in his videos, so I don't... I can't... It's very hard for me to relate to a person. To a YouTuber if they're just... If it's just videos with text, you know? So, I, I would say I know the channel, but I do not know the person. I don't mean that in a negative way at all. Everyone can make their content however they want. I just don't... That's why I put my, my face in this one. You're annoying. Uh, Blue Ring should be fine. Deathly Spaghetti? Cool. Fry Groove. Nice, thank you so much. I'll, I might even include that in this very long video project I'm working on. What did he do? How did he kill my bloomerang? Evil fiend. What did he do? He had a bungee? Brute strength. Okay. Could be worse. Is this deadly? Is this deadly? He used deadly. Oh, he's deadly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. You guys. There's no way for us to make a good trade anywhere on the board. I think this is the play. It's like a little sad. We gotta get rid of this. Yeah, we're now in good shape. <laughs> it's not deadly yet. Make it deadly for no reason. He's a card. Not a bad card. Not a bad uh, play. Obviously, don't make this deadly because we don't have any amphibious minions. So sad. The, the strike through minion's gonna be better. Once we hit six. Berry Blast, not bad. Ooh, if he doesn't clog this lane, we're in Gucci shape. 2-2-2 two, two, and two does not kill us. And three should win next turn. 2-2 two, two, and five does. So this is the play. We Berry Blast this one. We still need one more strike through minion, but this is very doable. In fact, um, yes, yeah, um, uh, yeah, yes, yes. Now this wins next turn. Now we get three damage. Oh snap! Oh snappies! Oh, I could roll. Oh, he rolled double threes. Are you kidding me? Uh oh. Yes, this is fine. This is good. This is very good. We could win with Bungie Plumber. Um, whatever his power is left, he has Brute Strength and Infinity Clones. None of them matter whatsoever. Huh? Huh. Here we go. So even if he blocks, we have a second Strike Through minion now. No! Damn it! <laughs> no! Oh, man. Lost 22. <sighs> the struggle's real. We're like, we're plus, we're plus 10 on the day. We're seriously only plus 10 after two hours. We're trying to be plus 30. Trying to be plus five times plus twenty five. We're halfway there. Almost. We're not quite two hours yet. 
I don't know if we're gonna hit 35 today. Maybe it's just gonna be such a long stream. Okay, here we go. Yeah, without Nox, we would actually be significantly further ahead. Uh, I think looking for a three is better. Struggles real. This is a little sad because Sumo. This is again. These are the. This is the top level of the game we're playing on right now. Early in the season, it almost would be easier to do this later in the season because then the rank thirty guys are all gonna be noobs. So if we move to this one, okay. So this way, one of these will definitely survive. If we would have put it off, then he could have killed both. And we need to keep the momentum going. We actually have the answer to his team mascot here, unless he puts it in four. Which he really is risky against Berry Blast. I think the correct place the correct play is to actually play a try and then we kill it. Tough decisions. I'm gonna go with this. I actually have some really decent late game. It's fine. That makes our, our wild berry permanently bad, which is very, very sad here. Yeah, if we play the... Oh, man. Sniping. So th this is the play. Smash actually kills this now. He's sniping. We're, we have five and six. I think we might as well use this just to proc the block. Here we go. We're still in decent shape. He's down to he's down to six, and he's really in trouble here. I mean, a, a sports coach is absolutely nothing for him. We're at 14 health with half a block meter. He's in humongous trouble. That does not matter. Um, so we are definitely going to go with the power flower. Our face doesn't matter. We're just looking at our health, and we're just going to laser beam him to death next turn. Should win here. He has, we rolled a 1, 1 and a 2. We're in excellent shape. We do not want to play this on heights because then it dies to alien. Is. He's going to pass here. He does not want to play. But this goes right here. Let's go break. I'm going to put as much pressure on him as possible. Going viral does nothing. Got him. Alright, to 77 now. Nice, we beat sports. Uh, I'm going to take a two minute break and then I will come back and we'll probably have another hour of streaming. <laughs> Here we go. Let's grab a little food. I'll be nibbling on some rice here. Nice hands. You rid of this? That should be fine. One, two, three. Starting with two haunted pumpkins is kind of good in every scenario. Haunted pumpkin, such a great card. Yeah, Roki, this is your last chance. You gotta start acting socially appropriate. You're spamming way too much, dude. Here we go. 
Uh, this hand against Super Brains is almost GG already. What is he gonna do? He can't do anything control turn one. We have an amazing turn two play. Particularly if he goes with the dry minion here. Can you deliver some Chinese food? Sure. Uh, interesting. So, this is the play. Whew! Goes with teleportation sound, but we can actually weed whack that next turn, so that's really good. Go DM me your address. Really nice. Uh, which one of these do I go with? I think on turn three we'll have this play, so it's kind of weird, but we're gonna play you instead. On turn four, I mean. Probably if I got Ancient Empire. Did I play against you? What's the play here? I think we'll do these two next turn. Am I eating just rice? Oh, that was you I played against? See, it doesn't show the names of the shit. Cool. The laser man. That was the, um... Yeah, we had- we- we got- we got some- some really good like game, so... Maybe it'll be that, you were the Smash Sports. Good deck, though. You were- you were really playing a great deck, and you are playing it well. Uh, that's 78. This is okay. Do we play this on one? Against Rust Bowl? We, to play around Super. It's a little interesting. But I think so. for a dry minion. Wow. Nice one drop. We are in the money. There's nothing can really do on the ground either. This is so good. So we have this on three now. Putting that... Ground, he has like black hole. He doesn't really have a lot of good options anywhere. Wheat spray is completely useless against this deck. He's down to 10. That was turn two. He's down to 10 empty block meter. Amazing. Nice back up to 16. But th there's his heroic health. His heroic health is gone. Empty block meter. He's at 16. Totally fine. Four ones better than a three two here. Not doing anything.
Very blessed. Let's just go face with this. Living rights. Did he not get super? This man is just conceding. This is a very nice way to see. People use the budget at Solar Flare. I've been told by so many people that was the first time they've hit Taco or, or Ultimate League is with this very deck. Uh, that was our 100th match. Nice. Let me press play. I'll be back in. Two seconds. games and it only took eight hours um, I'm not sure about this game mechanic uh, this is anyway better anyway better we actually have an answer to the haunted pumpkin which is cool I think we play this Murph I think it's move first no buff I should really figure that out though, especially since I'm running this. Okay, cool. Uh, I probably would kill the team mascot with the Zapricot. That's his play. Samurai Bing. Sumo. Um. Any reason to go for a double play? Uh, might as well waste this one, though. Right? Actually, this ends up here. Do I go more spore now? Well, no, it would have to end up here for this to be safe. This is just a worse card than the Zaprika. That's a trade. We're really slow. We've done this is we're coming into turn four. We've done zero damage, so definitely not what we want to see. A coach wouldn't be bad here. Uh, I think we do it like this, since this is weaker to alien news and this is weaker to environment. We have no environments. This is why poison, um, one of the many reasons poison, uh, fireweed is still better than, ooh, this is nice. Fireweed is still better than, um, than wildberry. I think I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy a colossal pack for the next gems. Why not? Mix it up a little bit. That's cool. We'll have four and two next turn, which is nice. So we'll go for just for the big hit. So now we block in there. Getting down to five here. We're in very good shape. He's doing four to our fate. He'll be, we'll be down to ten, we'll be down to five. This block mirror will be better. 
I don't think that the three damage helps him that much there, so that, I'm kind of nicing that Rolling Stone. Maybe we won't really have one anyway. Block the four. Okay, now he's doing a lot more damage. Now we're down to five. Oof, going viral wins for him. Damn, <laughs> that went from being... That's nice, seeing him commit. So now we're doing two and six. Very close. Means we need a strike through minion. Get a strike through minion next turn, we could win. And we're only doing eight. Ugh, he's probably gonna block. Probably actually not gonna win now. Oh, you think he had a frenzy? In there? We we're rolling one, see, with a block. A lot of stuff could happen with a block here. We can actually um can actually block his field here. I think we stall for time and look for uh you know there's a few things that could help us here. We might as well use more sport to stall. Uh so we put this one here. And we'll use more sport. This still actually breaks through. Ugh. Yeah, I might as well... No, I, you're right. I shouldn't have played a minion here. Whoops. Mistakes were made. We need to roll three. Now... Do we have Weed Whack in there somewhere? Starting with more sport. Ugh. So it looks like the sports deck beat us that time. That was very close though. Could have gone either way. Infinity. Infinity! We need a one. This is a matchup where Blooming Heart would be so much better. Sometimes prize mistakes are better than my plays. Oh, you're right. Because if we got Weed Whack, we would have won. <laughs> you're right. Whoops. Make him not play the environment this turn. This is the first time we've ever gotten Infinity Clones on turn one, actually, against this deck. Pretty sure. And it ended up in the exact perfect, absolutely optimal lane. Get a pumpkin here. We'll be in the money. Oh. But I think that arm wrestler would have grown. Anyway, I don't know. An extra lane would have been clogged, which means we wouldn't have had the two damage from the poison shroom. Flame pace. Wow, that's a swashbuckler. Um, we have to race him, which is going to be very hard. This is gonna be insanity. Do I do I control this turn? Guess I do. We have to not let this. I mean, if this is a monkey, we have to not let this happen. So we'll have to. We have a good trade there, and we'll we'll try to just strike through. It's better than getting maybe four damage here. That that con man would have grown way too much. We have some serious late game in our hands. I'm actually doing okay here. Huh? Boomerang takes out something here. 
probably go. This will get blocked, and we'll take this out with the plum ring. You can trade. I'm guessing it's a flame face. Yep. Watch this be a pirate. No, it's a 3-3. Three, three. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter. We can trade. <laughs> Egg into swimmer. Danger. You're still deciding? Very hard decision here. It's tough. Otherwise, this becomes a 3-5 because of the uh, swashbuckler. Post a series on YouTube. Seems like it's popular enough that I'll do it. We're in good shape. We're in decent shape. Where did he get this from? Oh, it's a sneaky gear. Never even heard of him, Okay. This is only a 3-3. Maybe we'll just keep things on the field. You know what? Screw it, we're just proccing the block here. I kind of like empty lanes though. Should I use this to kill 3-3? Three, three? Can he kill his strike through? We'll use the the the, the that lane. really don't want him drawing cards, so we always do this. What about this one? This one. Again, Blooming Heart would definitely help. We'll see if we can craft one today. I don't know about desperately. But it would definitely help. Against all the Rust Bolts we've been playing against, wow, it didn't even practically block. Against all the Rust Bolts we've been playing against, really, um, is he going to deadly that? Are you kidding me, man? Is he going to chicken ink? Just really got to proc his block and do a little damage here. I think this is the play. Two and three are really the same here. That's okay though, because we're still. The field is getting cleared. The field is getting cleared. His proc is getting blocked. Ain't no stopping this. And then there's gonna be this empty field for this nine damage to hit. He has, he'll have five cards in hand. I think we're fine. The two damage here is so good. That survives, cool. This dies actually. <laughs> Wee! We're all dead! So now he has two minions on the field, making it a lot easier for him to clog these lanes. So we're gonna have to. Ugh. It's not easy. Not easy. We can still hit him once with the power flower. He's getting so much. <laughs> Someone kill me. He's gonna have three Quasar powers now. Why is Pumpkin good? Four damage on turn one. Ridiculous. Uh, oh, he's doing a lot of damage. I think this trading is good. So look here. This one? Yes. 
These these quasar three quasar powers are very very scary. Anything from octopus to infinity clones to brute strength. There's so many things that go wrong here. Got another minion. We're not gonna probably not gonna win here. Damn. A, a little removal card that we get from Super could actually go a really long way here. Because we can use that together with the Poison Oak to win next turn. Wow, none of them were useful. Very strange indeed. So, whatever we get, we keep here. And, uh, if he puts not. He doesn't put four damage. Oh no, he needs two now. So we need a non graystone three health minion here. No gravestones, please. A beauty. Doable. Winnable, winnable. And for all you poison oak haters out there, this one poison oak has gone a long way. What does he have? Three quasar powers in hand. One of them is Infinity Clones, which he missed lethal by not playing that last turn. Damn. Damn. We just got control. This was a really good pirate die. Pirate Infinity can beat this die because it just gets so much. You're able to build tempo while controlling Solar Flare. Harsh. So we're still stuck at 32 and a half. I wonder if this is going to be where we're going to get stuck at 33 today. He rolled all threes, really? Quick smash. Oh, who are you playing against? Got one. I need to do missions off screen so I can grab better cards. Uh, Blooming Heart, Astrocado, and uh, Fireweed. Fireweed would have actually helped us in that Smash game we lost. No! Oof. Oof. I think we do this for tempo. That's weird. Scorch. Oh dear, that's so weird. That's a good scorch. <laughs> Ribsy sending a pirate there. This looks okay, I would just run way fewer buried treasures and uh, unlifes and run more uh, grave robbers. Everything else seems great. Amazing. Good job. That's my thumbs. Go. It's just a race now. Yep, so the way you're doing it is fine. I think Headstone Carver is better than Unlife and Buried Treasure, actually. Uh, water Lane, fine. Did he Brute Strength, though? We are in trouble. He has a removal card, he wants. <laughs> wow! Talk about getting screwed, hallelujah. Three. See, I wonder if we just go face now. Block the seven. No, this will be a problem next turn anyway. Do we need more damage though? Three, three, and three, and try to roll double ones. Three, one, eh, that's something. Preventing damage here. 
Controlling him with a strike through minion is how you win races like this. The problem is this next turn is so much. Think so? It doesn't really matter because one and one wins. If we would have rolled like a three there, that would have helped a little bit. There's no way to win here. Actually, no, we can kill this one. How the... No, but he rolled a one, so there's no way anymore. We have to block this, of course. And... <laughs> Goodbye. Ooh! We're facing Pyrotex now. Switch to Wall Knight. Do we just lose three in a row? No. I don't know, have the poison shrooms really been dragging us down that much? I don't think so. Hector the Fourth. <laughs> So here's my number. Call me maybe. You don't go down ranks. If you have zero stars in a rank, haha, <laughs> swing and a miss. Get scorched, baby. Um, if you go down, if you have zero stars in a rank and you lose a game, you don't lose a star. It's like a safety net feature in this game. Which is kind of weird. Shroom for two and Bob Shroom are not good in this deck. Bob Shroom is only good with Shroom for two then. And Shroom for two, the problem is if it gets fronted. The problem is, is that if it gets fronted, that's why we put this on the heights for that. Uh, if it gets fronted... Uh, you have this 1-1 one, one on the field that, unless you have an Elderberry to upgrade it, starts really, really dragging you down. This is a good Scorch. And a good Pumpkin. Good old Pumpkin. Boogaloo is typically a bad matchup, but he got bad Dancers, which is a horrible card to get. Lightning Bolt kills the 4-2 here, but... Nibble, nibble, nibble. I'm 100% nibble. Damn it. Get oh, he got evaporate. He got evaporate. It's the best day ever. Chickening this turn? If he passes, we're going like this. Gotta play around the chicken. Maybe he, he could be he got lightning ball and just playing chickening here. So we're doing three damage to his face. Huge. And there, his chickening is gone, which makes our hand better. what I always wanted but I don't care <laughs> wow committing like a boss uh he has a lightning bolt uh, it's fine uh, yeah it's totally fine we just need three damage and berry blast wins roll a one if he has heal lightning bolt then we're in a little bit of Oh, he has evaporate. Never mind, he has evaporate. Yep. <laughs> Don't get healed. Get regular lightning bolt. He didn't use it. He's stupid. He got to heal with that dude. Uh, no. Now we win with berry blast. It's too slow. Got him. <laughs> Not even close. Bum 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 bum. How long is today's stream gonna be? I don't know. I need food. <laughs> Starving. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna put a three hour limit on it. We're only halfway to our goal after two and a half hours. Harsh. Maybe we'll just stop at rank 33 today, probably. Isn't Valk Trickster hybrid contradictory? The answer is absolutely yes. Trickster needs tricks and Valk needs minions, but there are some overlaps. For example, Beam Me Up is very good. Summoning is one of your powers is very good. Telepathy can give you minions. It's very good. 
Uh, if you're running Quasar, that's a really good addition to this deck. I run Quasar now. Now with these, we'll look for the one, I think. Nice. It's taking long to rank up because I'm losing, exactly. We are losing some silly games and we're starting way too often with freaking A, freaking B to the C to the D, more spore. Get out of my life, why does this card exist? These guys should have team up, then this would actually be a really good aggro card if this had team up because you could add one damage to lane. When the game was made, this had team up. These were button shrooms, or, or puff shrooms, I mean, instead of button shrooms. They were so good. Uh, I think it's it's Berry Blast, actually. Keep this alive. Yes, all of his tempo goes bye-bye. Bye, tempo. I think uh, using Berry Blast here is better than one damage. Yeah. Let's weak stuff out of here. And having a lane clogged. If at least this would trade, I probably would have gone for the 4 1. High maintenance card, but it's a lot for a 1 drop. 3 damage. Let's it's time to stop, okay? Uh, play this on. He hasn't played a superpower yet, right? Nope. He still hasn't played a superpower yet. Uh, this is the highest hitter, so this will go right here. Actually, this probably gets fronted next turn, so it's gonna go here. A little weird. But, basically, the, 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 the play we do next turn is gonna be better than this, because this will be a 1-3, and we have no way of covering this with Elderberry, so... This getting fro frozen environment is fine. Where are these bullseye? He's down to 9 coming into turn 4. We have him right where we want him. It's gonna be Bloomerang now. Clearing lanes is nice. Having this open for next turn is probably right. We also have... We also have... This to clear a lane this turn. He probably has an environment here, which means this die. Actually, this die is free to an environment. So we don't never play this here. We play this either on heights. How about we play Haunted Pumpkin on heights? And play this to clear the lanes. Actually, well, the haunted, well, I don't know. You know what? I don't even know. Haunted Pumpkin Bloomerang was going to be the play next turn. This is not Strike Through yet. I'm going to save this for Strike Through. Ooh, commits a four drop. Okay. Roll a one. <gasps> yes! That's a big four damage. Now, when we proc the block, he's, this will be, he'll actually only block once this game. Did we get really lucky there? I think we were. we're Lucky blocking. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. That's pretty good. We're still playing around his environment he has in hand. You are annoying. You are, you are annoying. Okay, he definitely has an environment. So, the question is, what do we do? This will have strike through next turn, so we're definitely going to save that. So we're going to go four and one. And we just need to proc his freaking block is ticking. Doc is ticking. Talk. Yeah, probably gonna block is worth it. Enjoy your cards. Enjoy getting milled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> the play of the game, don't worry. Actually, no, if he has freeze environment, then we're dead. He has super! Okay. Yes, that's so good! <laughs> that's so good! Now we strike through for free in the stays of the field! <laughs> oh, lucky moments. That was so great. Now what's gonna happen? Now we're gonna play a strike through minion and win next turn, and he did not get freeze environment. That was amazing! Did we win the game here because of that? When Leap goes horribly wrong, watch him Bad Moon Rising, Zombot. Oh. Oh. Please have nothing. He actually doesn't get the lunchbox because he's totally milled. Bad Moon Rising to another mug? That does three damage. No, ooh, kills it though. Uh, okay. We're getting there. 
This is actually going to do a lot. This is going to do six damage to us. Seven. And five. Does he win? He does not win because this is Bullseye. Well, no, this lost Bullseye. It totally lost Bullseye, yes. Because it went back into a gravestone. <laughs> Got him. Oh, uh, yes. I think so. So it doesn't kill us. This just gives us a little more leeway. We need a strike through minion still. Come on, very blessed. Come on. Yes, Power Flower. Good enough. He has a teleport, but it's probably not going to help. Uh, we're just going to tell do this and try to clog this lane. Um, two environments could help him with. This might as well block him at least. Yes. Yes. Teleport. Gadget scientist. Wouldn't help. Behold the power of Power Flower. Do we win? No. Yes. Yes, and the, if the wild berry would not have ended up there, we would have lost that game. Oh! <laughs> if the wild berry would have, it was a 50-50, we would have lost the game on two environments there. Which is why we, we, were, we were going after that. <laughs> we win. I don't care, pure skill. Pure skill. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was beautiful. You are too slow. You have too much tech. You are too expensive. I think we'll look for a one here. You suck in general. If you played Area 22 on the Imp, you would have lost. Did he have an area there? Wait, was the first one an area? I needed a strike through. There's a lot of things that went right there. He played two nebulas at the end, yeah. Uh, nice. Nice. So we'll have Weed Whack Applesauce next time. He had Area 22, and he played it on the Yeti. He should have played it on the Amp, yeah. True. Wow. This man very blasted. <laughs> he got this from the thing. Uh, we're going face... I wonder if we use this offensively. He's doing four per turn. We're doing seven. I don't think he's going to catch up to us. Weed Whack will prevent a lot of damage in the long run. Um, we'll have four and please Weed Whack on five, probably. It'll probably be useful on five for offense. Don't think we Weed Whack him. Actually, what if the Bloomering anyway is going to go here? Probably will. Well. I have a poster of you on my wall, Fry. <laughs> so cute. Nice, down at 12th. Gotta watch out for Chop. I feel like Super he might have used to. Yeah, weed whacking this would have enabled something cool. Yeah, but... <laughs> Stealing block meter. Lucky bounce. Does he have Super? Maybe just as Chop and Deadly. That would be nice. Very much. The two berry blasts in our, in our hand give us a lot of reach right there. We're still safe for three turns, theoretically. 
Uh, I think we play around Shep. Maybe not. I'll do this now. Having the regrets not doing this early. This gives us a little more time. Wow, he can't even play Chop. So good. So at least the six damage will hit here. And then we have double Berry Blast, so we should win. We almost always win now. So nice that he's unable to play Chop. He committed all five brains. He'll Chop next turn. It's not going to matter. Here's three, three, and two more, th one more three wins now. We win! We win the game! Should I BM him? Ha ha ha! I BM value! Oops. No one cares! No one cares! No one cares! You won't be don't care! Ba, 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 ba. I'm pretty sure we're getting up to rank 33 today and calling it quits. Three hours is my limit. Max Fusion says he has a poster man as well. I read your comment out loud, dude. Don't say it again. That's not nice. Ah, uh, Berry Blast. Just to be an adventure. I think took a Berry Blast to the face. To the face. We're looking for early game. This is pretty good. Should I sell posters? What cards are crucial? Look at all the cards we have here. Anything that can't be replaced with an equal cost, high attack, good aggro card is pretty damn good. This is session number four. Did not reach our goal today. Too much salt. I do have merch. Here is the merch. Yeah, uh, t-shirts and mugs and stuff. Oh, thanks, Ken. <laughs> Get out of here. You be me. So good. Even the best case scenario for him controlling is not fast enough. <clears throat> so, uh, I can please with dry minion. Would have been nice. Oh, another beam me up stabilizes. It's huge if he has it. Even a frosty does not do enough. That does not. Got him. I have the biggest crush on me, Fry. Oh, thanks, Fusion. You're so cute. <clears throat> Hit me up on Snapchat. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Ah. I don't know. Would I ever date a fan? Maybe someday. Here we go. This seems so complicated. Why did he... Really? He should have put the smellies on behind the commander face. That wasn't very smart. Uh, what turn is it? It's only five. Whoa. But we need to kill him in his face. I think we... I think this guy's whack. Do we do this? Yeah. Man's just whack. His face. That costs four, and that costs two. And it opens up a lane. This man's gonna feel the pain. <laughs> We're Polly, don't worry about it. Fry Secrets of Life Revealed. This is the play. Say something about Snap. I don't really use Snapchat. Yes. Are you God? No. I'm one of the chosen people. Does that give me any points? It's 
mildly annoyed chemist. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Burn salad. I mean, that's actually gonna make. Oh, we ranked up. It's the greatest thing ever. Is this the honest trailer? Mildly annoyed chemist. Or you can go. That's a good one. All right, guys, we got it to 33. We're gonna call it quits. There's no way we're gonna get plus 10 still today. So it looks like the grind to. Hopefully, we'll have better luck in future days, but it looks like it's gonna take three days to grind up to um, the freaking taco. <laughs> Maybe if we get really lucky, we'll, uh, we'll do the thing. <gasps> Free gems! Uh, pack. I think I'm gonna do my first colossal pack now, since we're going for fireweed and another. What's it called? First Colossal Pack ever. Here we go. My very first Colossal Pack. This is beautiful. What is in the box? Oh! Come on, Elderberry. Not even close. Uh, we got nothing useful. Mm. Cro-Magnolia in this deck? No. It's not smart. Is Cro-Magnolia worth it if you have Poison Shrew? Is it better than Laser Beam? It makes your Strike Through minions do more. It also can evolve from Poison Ivy. Mm, it might be better than, than Laser Beam. Laser Beam did win us a game once. Should I run just the one? See how it goes? Just first, are we doing science on the speedrun stream? So this is the card we take out. And go Crow Magnolia. Because there's there's be, until we craft our until we craft our, our Sonic Blue our Blooming Hearts, I mean. Once we have Blooming Heart, that Crow Magnolia becomes a lot worse. But But Maybe once you have Poison Shroom in this budget scenario, you have a really good card that you need to upgrade. It's like a must upgrade. Every card has won me a game once. <sighs> we need a thousand. Get rid of Bean. I'll get rid of Grave Buster. What Bean? What Bean? Oh, I can I can get rid of the Laser Bean. How much does it give me? You're right. I can scrap the Laser Bean. Now. It's not gonna get us up. I'll, I'll use this once we have seven fifty. We got middle manager. Great card. Cha -pa -pa -pa. We got Elk. Oh, Roki. Oh, Roki dear. Mm, how many scraps do we have now? Four ten. I think when we get to 750, I'll do it. Hey, what is this doing? Psycho. I can't have any cards still through the cracks. We're min max. We're min maxing. We min maxing. That's all there is to it. How do we min maxing? Goes in every direction. Goes in every direction. What the heck is this doing? This weak flag. Firefighter? Who invited you? No one. No one likes you. Alright. So, when we get to 750, I'll, I'll probably recycle it. The laser beam. We're up to 500. We're close. Alright, guys. That was a very hard grind up to rank 33. At the end of the day, in three hours, 
we were plus 15, so that's the, that's kind of like going 20 and 5, which is probably what we went. We were plus 15, plus 14 actually. 20 and 5 is still really good. Uh, don't plan on doing the daily unless it's going to do a quest. Are we super brains? No. Nope. I'll do it if it's a quest. If not, forget about it. I gotta go. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll probably take another two sessions or one very, very lucky, very efficient, good matchups. Everything has to go right session. Uh, together. The Blooming Hearts might help. Who knows? Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. This is Fry.